in the decisive days of the Civil War, when Southern sympathizers in Virginia City secretly raised a fortune in gold to turn rebel defeat into victory. But for those selected to transport this treasure, a desperate adventure lay ahead, a perilous journey across 1,200 miles of wilderness, through enemy lines, and into bandit-infested territory, ever shadowed, ever pursued by a man commissioned by the North to stop this caravan at any cost. There can't be any deal between us. You Yanks always did drive a hard bargain. This time, I have an idea we're going to trade on my terms. What are you driving at? Don't move your hands and turn slowly. From the moment of their first meeting comes the story of fearless men pitted against each other with the fate of a nation at stake. It's Errol Flynn as Captain Bradford, Randolph Scott, Humphrey Bogart, and Miriam Hopkins as Julie, fiery dance hall queen of Virginia City. See, if you told me everything at first, I... No matter how much a man's in love, he really wonders whether the woman's quite good enough for him or not. But when a woman's in love, well, she's just in love. That's the end of it. All right, you men, come on out. That tunnel wasn't a bad idea, only no matter where you come up, you'll find a few bandits waiting for you. That's all. No, no. That's not quite all, Captain. And believe me, if ever the opportunity arises, I'll repay you for every foot of this tunnel. next week that all of you be assigned to the most dangerous branch of the United States Army. Iron rails to Kansas, iron nerves from there on, as you head for the Santa Fe Trail where nothing grows but trouble. Across the years they roll, the fighting heroes who made America great, the men who'll make America thrill. Errol Flynn as Captain Jeb Stewart, Raymond Massey as the infamous John Brown. Ronald Reagan, the Gipper of Notre Dame, as gallant George Custer. History springs to flaming life as they carve a path through the wilderness. Robert E. Lee, Sheridan, Longstreet, Pickett, Hood, Tex Bell, and Windy Brody, the famous Prairie Scouts. And the match for them all, lovely Olivia de Havilland. Are you in love with him and not with me? I guess I am, George. Oh, wait a minute. I can handle this proposal from now on. Thanks, son. There you are. Put your hands up and keep them up. I advise you to make no move towards your guns. One more murder won't mark you any deeper than you are now, Mr. Brown. I intend to be a marked man. Gateway of the West, a lusty, brawling border town running wide open to the throngs of adventurers, pioneers, gamblers, lured from Dodge City and Virginia City by the walking gold of this new El Dorado. Sight of the historic Alamo where Texas was born, the notorious Belly Union, hot spot of the frontier, where fortunes were squandered for a kiss and the gunfight decided the fate of the state. Here, the great Texas breakup of 77 began, 
when lawless hordes ravage the range, plundering, driving the embattled ranchers into exile in Mexico. Why, you look a little surprised to see me. I've handled you before. Remember? That's why I've come back. Some Sunday morning is going to be some Sunday morning for someone and me. No, 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 inside is not. You must quick stay out. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, shut up. Southwest in the lusty days when Dallas was a brawling frontier town, when lawlessness rode unchallenged through the streets, and the badge of justice was only as good as the aim of the man who wore it. Into this wide open outpost came Reb Hollister, gunfighter, plainsman, deadliest shot in all Texas, friend and shooting partner of the great Bill Hickok. Reb Hollister, in whose past was a burning secret that made him take to the avenging trail alone, in search of three men, who had destroyed everything he held sacred. Get down off that horse. Pop that gun off, it'll cost you $10,000. Don't you bite on that. If you don't plug him, I will. It's Gary Cooper as Reb Hollister, a man with only one purpose and a ready trigger to carry it out. Ruth Roman, the screen's most talked about new star as Tonya. Steve Cochran, Barbara Payton, Raymond Massey, Leif Erickson. What if you weren't a wanted man? We're free to go or stay. What would you do then? I'd sink my roots in Dallas and take her away from you. Any way I could. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed, Red. I can't let you go. Talk your way out of it this time, Marshal. You won't either, Brian. looming over the scorching Nevada desert is a strange rock called Ghost Mountain. But even stranger was the mission of destiny that brought eight men to this forbidding tower in the last days of the Civil War. Eight Confederate soldiers commissioned by General Lee to carry out a last desperate plan to turn the tide of battle. Men selected for their fierce fighting hearts, their daring horsemanship, and a devotion to duty that carried them across 2,000 perilous miles of enemy territory, only to be challenged with greater dangers on the rock. The mysterious renegade they'd come to meet. The constant threat of searching enemy patrols. The mounting fury of hostile Indian war drums. And finally, a woman whose very presence among these eight men was the greatest danger of all. Let me go! If you make a noise, they'll all be killed. There's a gun covering every one of them. One sound out of you, and we'll shoot. You wouldn't kill them in cold blood. That's up to you.
You're willing to let her life depend on that miserable outlaw? You better hope so. You mean to say you'd shoot down unarmed prisoners? Isn't that what you plan for me? Well, what do you say? Well, it's up to me, too, and I say no. You can hold out up here until help comes. They know there's only eight of us. We could kill a few, but we couldn't stop them. Well, then let's do what he said. Everybody take the same chance. They've seen our backs. Let's show them our faces. Charge! From heights shining with glory, heroism hurls its challenge. From trails ridden with danger, Cheyenne war drums thunder their savage reply. And a moment of history lives again as the screen trembles under the impact of surging adventure. When the sword and the arrow clash in the charge at Feather River. Up into the unknown reaches of the Rockies go men on a strange mission that demands the last full measure of courage. Men who know that tribal vengeance has put a price on their heads as they ride to the rescue of captive women held deep in Cheyenne country with a price on their lives. Here is a perilous journey that takes you into the majestic grandeur of nature's own stage, the great outdoors. You ride with a gallant patrol, and adventure holds the reins. You live in a primitive frontier where native taboos threaten hostage women. You fight as savage fury roars in a torrent of revenge. We gotta keep moving. Are you crazy? They'd knock us off like flies. All right, move out. I don't have to take full orders from any militia officer. Then take them from me. If he doesn't know what he's doing, we're all goners. I just don't want to go back, that's all. I don't want a lot of prissy white women staring at me. What happened when the Cheyennes took you? You're supposed to know Indians. You have to ask. Here they come. Easy. Here are thrills soaring from canyons that echo with danger to peaks that thunder with excitement. There's a mighty panorama of action. In a tameless frontier of timeless glory comes to life in vivid Warner color. For a newer and greater theater experience, be sure to see Guy Madison, Frank Lovejoy, Helen Westcott in The Charge at Feather River. Pass. This trouble at Raton Pass. Raton Pass, a danger swept defile cutting perilously through the Rockies. For the strong, a roadway to the great grasslands hidden behind the towering mountains. For the weak, a one-way passage to destruction. Because at the end of Raton Pass, the bullet was the only law, as the renegade horde ravaged the lush Mesa country in a fight for power. Here, one man, stronger than the rest, built an empire. An empire that withstood the guns of a thousand angry men, but nearly crumbled before the weapons of one designing woman who couldn't be faithful, even to her own selfish ambitions. You think I'm gonna ride calluses on my tail just for a foreman's pay, when I can see what kind of stakes you're playing for? They'll kill him while you stand there talking. They don't kill as fast as you and me. He told me he was dead. Drop it, Chella.
Maybe it's better that he's not dead. 